Welcome to this week's episode of the Indian Dots podcast. Me and Goran have discussed the fact that he was ill all last week. And it was a pretty lively story, I'd say. I mean, I think his storytelling habits have actually improved. So have a listen. Let us know your thoughts. And uh, I covered a bit on why I went to the UFC because kick-ass mm. event. And uh, also let us know, are you kind of done with weddings? Do you feel mm. like they're a bit tiring you out, wearing you out? Are you feeling exhausted? Mm. You need to take this tablet. No, I'm kidding. I'm not doing a commercial. Mm. Uh, anyway, catch you on the other side. Yeah, we'll see you there. <laughs> Welcome to this week's episode of the Indian Dots podcast. It is me and the doctor this week. He called in sick last week. That's right. The doctor called in sick because he's fully bamar. Uh, you remember how he used to call me the 2% man? Well, guess what? He was the 2% man. Uh, he wanted to be soothed on the phone and he called me uh, saying, Indy, 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 I'm dying. He's like, Indy, Indy, I need to talk to someone on the phone to stop me from mm. doing Uldi while I'm driving until I make it home. And I was like, yeah, sure. Why not? I'll just, I'll just talk to you for a little bit. <laughs> right? I'll just chat shit. This is like two hours prior life. to the podcast. This guy was fully dying. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. full stomach bug settings, everything, everything was mm. bond. He was mm. completely, mm. completely muggy, <laughs> to say the least. Oh god, that was that was quite an ordeal. I was going to mention this today, but not straight away. No, I'll bring it up now, can, man. Because people are going to be like, start, "Why start, was there no within, episode last week?" Last and week I was like, yeah. "Well, I was the fault." So, um, and the irony, you know, it had to happen on the day of the podcast as well. But it's all very, yeah. very. Uh, very very sudden you know kind of no warning no preemptive sometimes you know when you're getting ill you kind of get the inkling um like for example before i'm going to get like a flu or a cold i'll get a sore right. throat yeah and you get that kind of feeling when you're kind of um, people say it's like i'm swallowing glass shots yeah. of glass that kind of so i'll get that i'm like i feel okay today but i know in two days that's it i'm gonna be like boom so this nothing really thursday thursday's the day we're supposed to shoot the podcast thursday morning driving to work fine walked into work fine sat down in handover so handover is kind of like the day team meets the night team um so sitting there and i'm just like mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. immediately yeah and i'm like what the hell is going on like, and the thing is it's you know nausea it's a medical term for feeling sick can be a sign of anxiety as well, you know, like stress. So there's a bit of a crossover there. And I was like, man, I ain't stressed, man. Let me start the day yet. Like, what is going on? Like, I'm genuinely nauseous. Like, well, I'm a nauseous. I haven't got any, you know, vomiting, uh, diarrhea, sorry. So those typically go hand in hand, but you can obviously just just vomit as well. Mm. And then but it's coming like waves, right? So you had that kind of churning and feeling in the tummy. And then the handover finished, Tom, I consulted and I said, you know, I don't know why, but I feel sick. Uh, and I said, I'll keep you posted. And he said, yeah, yeah. He goes, let me know if you need to go, go. And then sort of carried on. And obviously, you know, the mind got busy with work. Uh, and that was a good, obviously, nice distraction. Yeah. Uh, so this is eight o'clock I started. About 11 o'clock, I was like, oh, shit, I need to be sick. And you know, when you, when you like know. And I often have this thing, like, um, let me give you the kind of the lesser version of this. But, you know, like, say... Say you're in bed and you're really comfortable. You know, I'm going with this, yeah. And you don't want to go for a piss. Right. And you're like, you know, you need to it's go. It's mad right? how I feel with that line in for you. <laughs> you know it, you know it, like as a guy. And you're there and you're like, oh, I can hold to the morning. It's fine. But then I know there's, you know, there are times where you do that and then your body you cannot hold. You have a random time. You cannot wake, hold. wakes you up a random time, two o'clock in the morning. You're like, go and piss now. Right. And yeah. you're like, oh, I should have just done it when, you know, normal time. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's the same with the ulti, man, like that kind of feeling of being sick. There's sometimes where I'll be in bed. I'm like, I can suppress it. I can suppress it. I'm okay. And there's like, oh. like mindset, baby, mindset training, mind over matter. What are your values? My value is right now. I'm not going to be sleep. Sick, okay. Well, exactly. That's the value. That's the key That's point right now. Yeah. Core value, right? That precedes everything else, right? Trump's everything else. <laughs> and then your body at some point would say, no, you need to be sick now, man. You need to get to that bathroom. And you know I, I, I think most people know but I, you know when you get that signal and uh i was like jason Bourne man i knew where all the bathrooms were i was like <laughs> straight straight got to the bathroom and uh i've got to say man first time in my whole professional life career that i've had to be um sick at work uh oh that's a good one you know i don't think i've ever been sick at work yeah, it's like it was I've been hungover at work, but I've never vomited at work. No, no, you know, never you know, vomited. Work. That's a bit, uh, yeah, a few risky, times, plenty of times, plenty of times. Yeah, yeah. 
not risky. Okay. I wasn't driving into work. I was just commuting in. It's fine. No, I wasn't about the driving in. It affects your performance, man. It's like you can't turn. Yeah, it does. But if you're on like yeah. a work social night out the night before, everyone's ah, hungover, aren't right? Okay, okay. You're in so together. There's, yeah, there's some mitigating circumstances. I didn't show there, up yeah. on my own hungover. Working like, I don't yeah, know. I say, everyone so, there's turned on. I had a bottle of whiskey last night, you know, enjoying myself. <laughs> uh, um, all right. Another thing. All right. Let me ask you a question. This, this is a bit like, you know, this is going to be like our whole segment that we've done doing we that one time. Yeah. yeah. So when you get sick, yeah. Yeah. When you're growing up, yeah. were you uh, straight into the toilet or like did you go in the sink and stuff? Wherever was available. Okay. Wherever was sink, available. Sink so when I was growing up way. as a kid, mm. the first memory I have of being sick as a kid was I ate too much chocolate at Easter. And my, my brother and sister said, stop eating so much chocolate, you're going to be sick. And I was like, no, I won't. And then I just threw up all on the floor in the lounge. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That's my first memory of being sick. But I know that I've thrown up in sinks, bathrooms, uh, tubs, toilets, bedrooms. Doing? I've done that before. Yeah, you don't. Know, hopefully, your bedroom, not someone else's bedroom. Well, no, no. It well, was, it was, huh. it was my bedroom first year uni. Too much drinking. Yeah. No, okay, but so that's kind of like you get it. Um, but sinks, you know, sinks are can be a little bit dangerous because I what clogging. I remember, yeah, I remember an instance where it wasn't actually me. It was a friend who got sick in a sink, and then like it wouldn't go down, and then so like. His mom had to come in and like get the old scoop it out, put yeah. them gloves on. Yeah, and I was just like, no. <laughs> right. That's the first thing. All right. Second thing is, if you are going to go in the toilet, are you a stander or you a lift the thing? Get on, on your knees, knees bang. and bang. bang on your knees and get bang. As close, lunge get as close as you forward can. into it. Yes. You get yes. nothing on your clothes. Yes. Lunge yes. forward yes. into it. Commit. Protect the beard. You can't. Right. You can't. You can't. You can't do it. No, I had to. I had to. Man, my, 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 mine's a bit longer than yours, right? So I had to like do the whole. Oh no no! Straight you in. can protect that. I'm on about it. it. Gets in your mustache. Oh yeah. Well, look, you can. It's in your nose, man. You need to blow your nose. Oh god, I forgot about the nose. The thing. nose, oh, the nose, right? It's in the nose. The nose like, then, then you're like, oh shit, everything's connected. Um, uh, and then you're like, you're blowing your nose. You have to. I forget about that. You gotta remember. You gotta remember. I'm at work, man. It's not like I have access to a toothbrush or anything like that, right? Yeah. Or yeah. mouthwash. Yeah. So I'm there, like in this basic ass toilet, thinking, what the hell do I do now? I've got to go back and see patients and speak to them. Obviously, good thing masks are still. Needed, yeah, but, but um, that 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 breath smell of oh, post yeah, yeah, already yeah. in the mask. Oh my word! Yeah, because then it's just reflecting into your own face, and you're like, oh my god, I need more teeth. Did you not have any mints or anything like that? Yeah, right. exactly. So I um I took my time. This is the first thing, right? It's like you're being sick. Just get it all out. So how many also, rounds are we talking? Three, four. Right. Yeah, good. I was. That was my next point. What do you call it? Yeah. Rounds. I couldn't think of the word the other day, and I was going to Shindy, and I said, oh, I did three pumps. She's like. <laughs> <laughs> Three so bumps. love yeah, it love well, it i couldn't and then i was like it's not an episode like what is the word for that you call it episode, what do you call it rounds uh, rounds rounds it may be rounds yeah i was on pumps man she's like stop saying pumps it's not pumps i was like but it's yeah, yeah pumps out. is pumps means that in our scaring yeah yeah not, not in this context <laughs> um so yeah three three rounds right yeah yeah um pretty much just breakfast uh, initially i thought is it something i've eaten but you know my breakfast is pretty standard i'm on like this very low calorie thing we did it for a while so breakfast came out and then yes yeah, so then a bit of gargling with just with water um mm-hmm. uh, blew my news out properly um got everything out of the mustache and the beard make sure there's no bits double minted um yeah then went back now what's the other thing you feel straight after you've done or deal being sick how do you feel sometimes you might need to like go for a piss <laughs> In the weirdest way possible. Okay, yeah, I've never had that. I mean, I mean, like in yourself, how do you feel? Oh, you feel horrible. Music? You feel horrible. Sometimes feel you feel better. You feel good. Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. Sometimes, sometimes, that. I sometimes like, you feel oh, better, it's but it's out. <coughs> but occasionally, you might feel worse. Mm. Okay, I've always had kind of like a a period of man, I'm back to normal, mom, so I'm fine now. Da, 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 da. I can carry on, and then you get the woo, second crash, right? Mm. Because obviously, breakfast is gone now. I've gone back, double minted, feel like, yeah, okay, that's out of my system now. I can just crack on and work. So boom, 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 expending loads of energy. Got my bottle of water, trying to go on that just to stay hydrated, right? And then um, that's, that's 11 o'clock, got sick. And then one o'clock, I was like, man, I am like, I wasn't feeling sick at this point. I was just fading. And I was like, I, my brain is just not doing what I need to do. It's like the patient is there. I need to like, you know, need to just perform it. I just mm-hmm, couldn't perform mm-hmm. And so at that point, I'm like, this is just, I've held that at this point for like five hours. I finish at four. 
Uh, and I was like, no, nah, I can't do it, man. Found my console and I was like, I need to go. And she was like, um, oh my God, you're like the fourth person in the last two days. There's something obviously going around. Uh, there we go. And that, yeah, I told Shindy, she's like, oh, you know, shaking everyone's hands again. You need to go back to not touching people's hands. <laughs> yeah. so, Shindy, whenever I get ill, Shindy's assumption is you are not washing your hands. Stop hitting the table. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Shindy's <laughs> assumption is, oh, <laughs> you put it in my head earlier. Shindy's, I'm from here. Shindy's <laughs> assumption is, just, just, yeah, yeah, just, 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, jazz wasn't like this man, that day. Um, is he's not washing his hands. That, that's you know it doesn't matter Aaron, i know you don't wash your hands man no i clearly wash my hands but it's, it's no, like, i know you don't will you wash your hands after you shake someone's hand like mm, i don't do that like, but you uh, got a sani everywhere at work you got yeah, hand sani yeah, everywhere um, that's true. okay uh, just, just like just shake hands FYI, pump 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 Bam, all good. okay you can't call that the pump that, that obviously isn't the pump that is the pump that's squirt three squirts Oh, let's let's not do this let's not no i'm saying we're venturing actually... down some dangerous no, pathway here no, <laughs> okay no, no. look in the context of sanitizer by the way no one calls it sunny this isn't hand like sunny. a no, no hand sunny. oh god medically we do not call it that and this is like no, this oh, is me- human... medically you obviously don't right listen this is like money and you're like not gonna again. be there on an operating table and say oh yeah pass me the pass sunny. me the pell the what yeah the pell scalpel you know yeah yeah. no no, no you're not going to do that you're going to put the full words yeah i'm talking in a slang context at work people say anyone got any sani and that's it done it sounds like a sandwich or something man it's not a sani, sani. Right? yeah that's, that's what i'm hearing <laughs> <laughs> you got a sani um this is like you in manchester and money it's reminding yeah, me yeah, it's a real it's thing man it's a real thing yeah telling okay. it's a real thing okay mate close horse okay yeah <laughs> um what were you just saying Yes. And Sunny. Yes, you should yes, stop yes, shaking yes. hands. Yes. So that is available. Um, problem with that is if you ever use it, you get really like cracked hands. It's cracked hands. Yeah. Yeah. Which Even if you wash your hands, you get cracked hands. Yeah. I remember the first um, first uh, lockdown when we were in hospital. Like we were, okay, like we used to do it before, but like we were really doing it like every, you know, oh, I looked at you, clean your hands. Oh, I blinked at you, clean your hands. Like we just did it all the time. Mm. And uh, I came back one day. I was like, Shindy, my hands are like cracked, man. I was like peeling. I was like, this is Meher's wedding. That's what it was. Yeah. And I was like, this has never happened. Like, what is this, man? It stings. And she's like, yeah, it's just your hands are cracked, man. You need to get some cream up in that. Um, That's how my hands feel all the time, FYI, because I got eczema. If I wash my hands mm. too much whether I'm prepping mm. food, my hands start cracking immediately. It's horrible. Mm. It is horrible, man. It's just every little thing then gets in, touches or burns, isn't it? Mm. So that's one o'clock uh, and I'm like, right, going to get home. So got home. What did I do when I got home? Right. What are your go-to foods? If you're like, I'm sick, I need to, I need to get stuff in nutrients. Like, you know, what's the, for you? All right. If it's ulti, yeah. First mm. thing I say is someone goes to the pharmacy and get me some dry light sachets. Yeah. Okay. So you're thinking about your replacement. Need to get I in. think about, I need to keep myself alive. Someone go and get me some survival. dry light sachets now. Right. I'm Which, in survival just, mode. Let's cover this now. Dyrolite. Yeah. The most disgusting drink ever. Go on, I remember go on. Go on. all medicine isn't meant to taste good. It's meant to be no, effective. Calpel, man. Come on, Calpel, Calpel. Who do I sound no, like? No, I sound no. like you talking to a patient. Listen, it ain't going to taste nice, right? But it saves your life, doesn't it? You're not complaining then, are you? Right? Take the medicine. It's true. It's true. But I remember there are a lot of medicines which have completely tasteless. Like a lot of pills, tablets, you don't taste anything. But Dyrolite, I'll tell you where my memory Dialogue is it's being young, being like really, really sick, as in doing uh, ulti and doing vomiting a lot. Mm. And those are the days where I don't know if you had this, but the bucket by the bed, like I don't know why. You that mean was every time I was drunk at university, I had a bucket by the bed. Yeah, yeah. Fine, fine, fine. So yeah, this is <laughs> this is the thing, right? So bucket by the bed, and uh, mum coming in with this thing that looked like ribena, and me being really happy, right? Yeah, blackcurrant yeah, flavored. Yeah, yeah. And then you drink this shit, and you're like, oh, like why is didn't they ever like put a bit of ribena in it? If they right. did that and mix it, but I like, taste a bit off, you're like, oh, I diluted it too much. You're like, okay, mummy, right? Or, you know, look, I, I do this now and I'm older. Uh, if I have to drink something I don't like, it's just me. Pinch it and drink it. It's really I don't do this effective. pinching business. No, 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 no. The issue isn't the smell. The issue is the taste. Yeah, but if you, where does taste come from, man? Half of it smells. So if you pinch your nose, you don't taste it. That's the point. That's why I pinch. Not to oh, seriously, is that why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you take, if you take uh, something that's really strong, I don't know. Mm. Blue cheese, right? You pinch your mm. nose, you won't taste it. Oh, blue cheese, man. Yeah, okay. I mean, that's extreme. But even even like an onion, right? Like an onion. 
or even something you like. You can take, it can be something you like, pinch your nose, and then eat it, and then see what happens. Okay. You can try it now on the podcast, get something, just pinch it. I'm, I'm good, you know. <laughs> we'll try it when I see you so, next. Yeah, how about that? Go on. Diorite. Okay, so diorite is your drink. That's a drink. Now, foods. Go. <laughs> so, normally, I like eat quite relatively healthy here. So, I'm like, mm-hmm. I'm ill. I can eat anything I want. That's what I think in my head. I think okay. like... So you're like cheat day, cheat day frenzy. No, I'm like, my body needs it. Yeah. I, my body you're wants like, you're it. Like, you're like a pregnant lady. Like, I'll give it, innit? <laughs> <laughs> so, I, mine's like crisps and stuff that's, that's my yeah, good the, pa- the paradox is isn't it harder to eat those things when you are sick though well, it was easy for you all right how how sick are we talking here yeah because if it's like day one i'm sick give yeah. me some dahlia and that's it dahlia is basically porridge right. and milk yeah right, that's it right. but like okay if i'm I mean. like so day, oh i'm still sick. feeling sick day three but i'm living i'm living right let me go and have some crisps you're not sick yeah? anymore <laughs> nah you're still sick you're just not fully there yet you're doing that thing, aren't you? This is where contractor life and employed life is different. Contractor life is, man, I want to get back to work because I'm going to get paid if I'm not working. Employed mm-hmm. life is, oh, I've got a period, what is it? A period of absence. Doesn't matter if I take one day. Or period seven of days. absence. <laughs> wow. Right? I'm going to take all my seven days, right? Yeah, it's man. all the same. Yeah. And when you come back, you better, you, better, you better be like 110%. In. That's what the employers say. <laughs> That's what they think. That's what they think. Uh, I was naive that day as well. I was like, oh, yeah, boss, boss, I'm going to be here tomorrow. Nope. No. no. <laughs> um, Right, so go back. I had, so my thing is yogurt thing, right? Not like flavored yogurt, just like plain, plain thing. Plain thing. For whatever reason, it just settles my stomach, man. Like that is my go. My go-to things are banana. Has to be not a ripe banana, like a bit of a kacha banana. So in between like a yellow and a green. Seems to do job. Not all of it as well, like a few bites. A bit like a tennis player and then put it on the side. And then thing. So I had two, three spoonfuls a day. Had um, blackcurrant squash. Again, a few sips. One of says, no, I'm going to try and sleep. All right. Got to sleep. Okay. Oh, right. Vix. My head's turned at this point, Laura. Yeah? Right. Tell Why do you need Vix at this Vicks. point? You're no, throwing head's... up. My... Yes. Right. Okay. So let's talk about the action of throwing up. I was trying to explain this to Cindy. So when you're doing your, what do you call it again? Not, uh... your, your rounds. Rounds. That's it. Your pumps. Bloody yeah. hell, man. Oh. It's not difficult. Just think boxing, yeah, yeah. isn't it? That's fine. Right. Round, rounds, rounds. Yeah. When you're doing your rounds and your pumps, um, I often find like, you do one and it all comes out. The second one's a little bit less. And sometimes the third one's just like a dry one, but you still put in the full force. And it takes us. No, I've never got that. I'm like, you heard me on my stag, right? Four or five rounds deep. Like the fifth one was just like pain. Like it came yeah, yeah. out. That's what the I fifth mean. one came oh, out. But out. by the time it came out, like your eyes start watering. Yes. That's how extreme yes, it yes, gets. Yes, yes, yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah. this it's is like, horrible. Like, and then at the end of that, there's nothing to bring up. Like I don't dry heave. I just heave and it comes out. There's nothing more to get out. So you get to the point where there's nothing to come out. Yeah. On that, when you get towards that end, what I often find is because of the way you're using your chest muscles, you're exerting them in a very, very forceful way. Mm. At the time, it's okay. But afterward, what I tend to get is kind of like when you get a cold or flu, kind of I'd say your spine, those muscles that you lats essentially that are going back into your, your rhomboids and all the, the other muscles. Pain, essentially, right? So I have this kind of like back pain and headache. Here comes the VIX, right? That's a paracetamol as well. What is your relationship with Vicks? Mine's good. I just put it on my nose, maybe a little bit on my chest. Right. But Shindy puts it on your eyes, which I think is, oh, you yeah, know, domestic abuse. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, you should. <laughs> I'm going to see you this weekend. All right. Yeah, we will do it as a test. <laughs> We're not doing it as a test, yeah, mate. I'm we'll good. Do, we'll, do, we'll do one eye. We'll you do know what's worse, eye. right? We haven't got real Vicks at the flat. We got like Desi Vicks. It's the same oh, thing. No. It's just a third like, of the it's price. Like vapor, vapor wax. <laughs> vapor wax. Yeah, so if you put that on my eyes... Yeah. I'm pretty sure that my eyes are going to evaporate. So let's not do no, that. No, okay. No, no, no. Right. Okay. So, yeah. Typical areas to put VIX on. Obviously, your nose is obviously a good one. You do it when you're cold. Throat is actually a really good one. I, I didn't really used to do it on Bush India. That's not good. Chest is a good one. Mm. Back, very effective. Problem was, obviously, there's no one else there. So I was trying to do it myself and I couldn't really hit the spots. Now, head is hurting. So I was like, okay, I'll put a little bit on. Right. And normally I just do the temples, but I had a little bit extra left and I just put it on. Right. The problem sometimes when you put too much VIX on is what? Get it gets really cold and it burns. Burns, right? So then I'm like, I'm trying to sleep. How can I sleep? And it's like, burn, 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 right? And then you have to wait till that fades off. And it's obviously three or four times as worse when it's on your you eyes. You need to rub that's it off, basically. You need to get a tissue and wipe it off. Yeah, which is the next thing to do. Well, one thing I've accidentally done once is, I think I had it on, 
I've had it on my hands, not washed my hands, gone to sleep and rubbed my eyes. And that, that was oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, that's not good. Um, so then I've gone to sleep, managed to get like two hours, woke up. I was like, oh, didn't need to get sick. Maybe I'm better, right? So start to see the light. Man, you're such a doctor. You think like, bam, instant feeling. I'm going to feel instantly better. Everything's yeah. going to be completely fine. Yeah. You're like a horrible yeah. patient. Yeah. You're a really bad patient because most people are like, I'm out of action for like a, 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 a couple of days at least. But you're oh, like, no, I'll no, be fine. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because for me, it's this, this, whatever this is derailing my day. I have a schedule. This needs to be done. So it's getting done, right? Karen, you should have known the second that you were saying, I'm not making the podcast. That's like, you're off for like a day minimum. You yeah, gotta be. That's that's a very good point. You should have known at that point. You're like, this is not happening. I ain't gonna do no miraculous recovery overnight. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's not one of those. It's gonna be mm-hmm. when it wants to go, it goes. <laughs> yes, that's a very stupid point. Um then yeah, then I got sick again. Uh mainly just water though. Yes. No, but the timing's completely wrong here. Sorry, before I went to sleep, I was sick. That's mm-hmm. what happened. Then I had the thing and then I had the, the squash and then I got to sleep. And that was just after I, I, you know, I did number two. It wasn't particularly, it was a little bit loose, but it wasn't like diarrhea loose. So I was like, okay, I haven't got any diarrhea as such. Um, yeah. And then just had my second episode. And then the most traumatic episode was I had to pop out to do something, get something. Um, and on the way, I was like, I'm not going to get motivated in case I need to stop. I was carrying bags with me, like normal bags. Was this Friday now? This is Thursday, still Sunday. Those still Thursday, okay, yeah. So this is before I rang you. Okay. All right. So then um, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, no. Draw the timeline out. So yeah. you leave work at four. No, no, one p.m. Oh, I'm you leave at one. one, you get home, you nap, you do the Vix thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I wake up at like five, then I have to pop out. Oh, up. this is when you call me. Okay, yeah. This, yeah, yeah. This is this is after. And then but on the way, um, Right, hit a red light. I was like, like I knew it was coming. I had like seven minutes on the clock. It's like to destination. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna make seven minutes. And like, Even if I get the seven minutes, is it gonna be bathroom there? Fine, maybe, maybe not. Um, I got my bag ready. So I had the bag open, the red light is there. I'm like, do I press the hazards? Now, luckily it was actually very smooth. It actually, I got it all done in the time that the light was red. Um <laughs> <laughs> which is like i was like because and you know what's interesting it was like you're like a at, fucking f1 racer at a pit stop <laughs> yeah, right, just something like that man like i'm looking in the windscreen the rear mirror sorry i'm looking at the driver trying to give him like a signal like dude i'm not okay right yeah. that's the first thing then i got a bus load of people who are kind of watching me this guy like over the bag thinking yeah. is he doing like some sort of terrorist activity i, I don't know right <laughs> so uh, what's, he, what's he doing with the bag man what's he doing i was like it's just an empty bag man i'm showing him the bag right and um it's a lease car and i'm like oh man don't want to get like ulti in mm. the wrong places and stuff and uh now something you may not know this isn't the first time i've vomited in a car so i have a little bit of experience of this the day i was engaged to shindy on the way to get engaged i vomited in the car as well oh nausea were you nervous bug was too tight <laughs> no, nah was shut up man. no 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 true it's honest oh truth. my god honest Who truth tied it yeah, this is like, uh, this is my master from India. Um, this is like <laughs> back in the day. Where was he did full that? headache, hitch, everything, tightness. Oh, well, and remember, when, when your bug is tied, it's very hard for the other person to know. B, when it's tied, it's not a bit like bugging up a guy. You don't realize straight away, maybe it's too tight. It just dawns on you after like maybe an hour. Yeah, it uh, does. And, and remember... the problem is though, I've, I've had bugs that are so tight that you, it hurts to swallow. Mm. and i was like okay this is excessive please loosen it this mm. is my first bunker i can't they did it so tight. i was like please loosen it he said no i said why he said i'm not having your bursty of your bug falling off on the day he's like i don't give a shit you can be in pain you can do a shit performance i don't care you are not <laughs> your, your bug, bug is not, not coming off. off your not bug is not falling off yeah i was like my god okay jesus mm. With the Bhangarapa guy, it was always um, what I found was it was the bug itself was fine, but you know the putty they tied afterwards. That's the that's oh, where you get the tightness. My god, the killer, the oh, I'm okay, I'm okay, and they just keep going. So, the putty for those who don't understand, right? Imagine you have a turban, you have a bug here, yeah? it's basically like a cloth that goes around it that secures it in place. It's meant to have like a bit of a pattern on it. When yep. you do that and you tighten it, it's like every single layer of cotton just goes 
in Zoop. into your it's like crushing your head pain pure pain as we got more senior we realize that actually we can just tighten it when we get close to performing yeah. when you're young you just, you just sit there and you're ready like five hours you're like, i'm ready to perform now yeah yeah yeah, so yeah, you yeah, sit yeah. There, don't move and you like you talk to each other are you okay and you turn your head really slowly you think your bug's gonna fall off um, yeah 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 I, I remember a guy i met once who this is before he danced with our team he wherever he danced before he's like they used to like staple their pagan things like staples and shit oh, in there. Know. imagine trying to take that off after and, uh, i don't know but... anyway we digress um so yeah it's not the first time i vomited in car so I was really, you know, I was, I was apt, I was ready. I 30 to seconds, bosh, next. Just, you know, bag in, boom, bang, right? Yeah. And then one hand at the top, um, didn't go through the bag, which is good. Put it on the rubber mat on the passenger side. It's like, okay. And then, like I said, you know, you get that little period of, I feel good because I'm empty now, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. right? And then, because you know, you have gray spirit until maybe the next vomit. So I'm like, yeah. I need to, need to go pick up the shit, go back, Right. I went, got the stuff, <coughs> coming back. What happens? Rodex. 15 minute journey because how long you need? <laughs> One Half hour an plus. hour. One hour plus, man. Right? An hour. You were in the car for an hour. An hour, bro. Well, maybe 45 minutes. But it's just, <coughs> it was long. That was the point, right? And you got to remember this point. So now I am three vomits in with no liquid and no food. Hang on. Okay? So you vomited three times in the car? No, no. In the day. I'm one of okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was. Two two pumps in the car. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Rounds going rounds, yeah. two rounds in the car. Fight. Yeah. Pumps. I like pumps. <laughs> Sanny. No Sanny. I had some Sanny. It's fine. Okay. Yeah. Good. Hey, it's uh, catching on. See? Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, carry, carry. Um Yeah, yeah. So then I'm, you know, I'm driving back. Stupid whatever it was, this single lane traffic bullshit. That not the right time of day to do it. It's not the middle of the night. I don't know why you're doing it now. And I am just like barely keep my eyes open and i'm like okay i need to get home now i need to like just get into bed basically mm. and uh shindy was at a meeting yeah six up meeting uh for their camp in nottingham so i knew she'd be busy and i was like right i need to ring indy um luckily i rang you and you were walking yeah man uh, i was like happily, i've not got a podcast i'm just gonna go for a walk then oh is that why you went for a walk okay. yeah because i knew that there was no podcast and I was like, oh, I can walk to the gym or I could just go for a walk. I was like, let me just go for a walk. Just enjoy the weather in it. So mm-hmm. I went for a little walk and then thing is, right, phone's in my pocket. I have a rule. Whenever I'm walking, I don't look at my phone. Interesting. I want to like just just enjoy the walk and enjoy what Be- I'm listening to. And then I don't oh, put so my you phone listen, in my you hand. Music. I, I, yeah, like I'll listen to like YouTube, podcasts, whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'll put it in my pocket. Or right. sometimes I might have YouTube on, so I'll put it facing up in my pocket so it doesn't change the um, change the video, right? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, and then as as you've got it in, in an AirPod now, it says, calling now, Karen Mavi, do you wish to accept? And I'm like, yeah, all right, go on. I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, is he calling so me had... to say he's back on? Because I ain't home yeah. now. You the right? <laughs> oh, you're like, it's off now. I'm like, it's done now, mate, it's done. No, I, I'm, I'm not now. home, right? <laughs> you got you to wait for me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hey, so I answer it and you're yeah. like, indeed. And I'm like, yes, doctor. You're mm. like, I'm dying. I was like, okay. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't wish that on my worst enemy, man. That, uh, yeah. That feeling. It was like, cognitively, I had to stay awake, right? This yeah. Traffic is frustrating me. Mm. All I want to do is get home. I know, like you said, now I can't be productive. Although I still had a false hope. I was like, man, we're going to have that meeting gonna get back gonna no like sit in the bed no, but i was no, I, I really i no. really really was looking forward to it yeah yeah um maybe i just need that light at the end of the tunnel to get me home yeah of course and then did. um yeah i was thinking i was like she's like what did you speak to india about i was like i don't really know i was like, every two minutes i kept apologizing to him because we just really spoke saying, about saying shit much. for like 30 minutes and you said yeah. something to me you said like you have a really soothing voice and i'm like i don't think i do i think <laughs> i have quite a grainy voice but cheers <laughs> thank you right you're like yeah man you're like it's keeping me calm chilled you, you just keep yeah. it real man i was like is yeah, this the closest? Yeah, yeah i was like i was like is this the closest i'm gonna get to go and being drunk and delirious because i'll take it i'll actually take it right <laughs> so this guy and then he said all right cindy's calling i gotta go i said are you near home he said yeah yeah i'm near the ramp i was like all right safe bye <laughs> right, I've, I've done my duty <laughs> mm, no you do. above and beyond man um yeah no, no i was trying it's hard to put that thing into words and i was trying to say to shindy 
when she asked me what you spoke about and it is keeping it real is just you know no drama just level you know level mm. um i was listening to something else the other day uh jordan peterson was saying and he was talking about uh this, this is slightly related to what we're talking about about keeping it real you know this idea of success and happiness isn't drinking margaritas on the beach he goes yeah and he said you need to start thinking about mastering the mundane uh and then joe rogan was like oh, okay well you know what do you mean by that and he's like you know you see your wife if you got a wife every day for 10 minutes when you come mm. home from work or you have your breakfast together well there's lots of things you'll do for lots of periods of your time mm. he goes focus on making those interactions pristine is what he says he goes if you master those elements that mundane those things then he goes you know 90 of your life you've got put together man uh and all these other things that you want they'll come as a consequence of these these success and happiness um and so i like that idea of you know mastering mundane and when i was speaking to you it was just like i don't know i can't remember what you're talking about you're talking about the wedding you're going to go to in scotland somebody having a baby what you did last week like, it was just really normal stuff but yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it was just it just kept me level man <laughs> Um, I didn't want to talk about the Bing Bumar, right? No, I no, I was asking like... you about, about Gortas and where to buy oh, a Gorta from. Oh, God, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was I, was like, I was like, that was good, could that was I potentially you could, you could borrow your Gorta? Maybe, no, you're too short. No, no. <laughs> you know, it's interesting about that. So today I was with my uh, father-in-law, right? So uh, at wedding on the weekend, and then today we drove up to Nottingham. Brother-in-law's getting married in a couple of weeks, needs to start dad's clothes. Dad is kind of like a, give me, you know, give me a day and we can just go bang, 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 bang. Right. And um right, what well, this is what we're talking about. Right. So I said, when you got married, like what was the the thing? Oh, I remember now why we said this. We we're at the tailors and he was holding a shoehorn, the big shoehorn. Mm. He was holding it like he holds like he holds like a sword when you're getting married. Yeah, yeah. Right. Like like two hands. Across fine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we took a we took a picture and he was like, I said, Did you have one when you got married? He goes, No, that wasn't the thing then. Really? Like, yeah. And he said, I said, Okay, oh, when did that become a thing? He goes, When people started wearing unchkins. I was like, So what did you wear? And he goes, English suit. That Wait, hang on. Thing. What's what's Unchkins? Uh, she's running. The other, oh, another right. for that. Yeah, yeah. So what we wore on our weddings, that's not always been the thing. So back in the day, the thing was to wear an English suit, which kind of makes sense. Oh, yeah. You know what? If I'm thinking about some of my mum and dad's wedding picture, yeah, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I got it here. Oh, Wait. yeah. This was their registry. Yeah. I had a picture of my mum because it's not a wedding picture. That's my dad. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks Super. just like me. Yeah. Yeah. And he's wearing what's on his head? Is uh, it Kanda Kalgi. Or Kalgi? It's Kalgi. Kalgi. Yes. That, that yeah. must be his wedding day. Yeah. Yeah. So that was him on his wedding day. Right. And he was there on his wedding day with that. Mm. And he was wearing a suit. He wasn't wearing a, a Shirani. Yeah. You know what? You're, you're completely right. It's true. Yeah. So he told me that. And I was like, wow, there's been a big shift. And obviously, it's a lot of money making. But then he's, you know, he was like, when are you guys ever going to wear this again? And we were like, yeah, that's a good point. So he was like, okay, I'm going to throw a special Shirani birthday party. So when he turns 60, he's like, just all turn up in your wedding outfits, boys and girls. Ooh. Oh, that's, that's really good. He just came that's up with some really spot. I was sick. Like, that was really funny, man. I was like, yeah, man. What if you're not married, though? You're not invited to party. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, we digress. What were we talking about? The car, the car journey. Got to start right? the car journey. Yeah, yeah, sorry. So then I get home. All right now, I will let you into a secret uh, that has cured me a few times in the past. Now, I discovered this when I was in India. Essentially, so my nanny, who's obviously married to my nanaji, my nanaji's passed away now. He was a doctor for a long, long period of time. But because of that, it meant nanny picked up loads of little hats. things. Yeah, yeah. yeah Similar to just, me and the stuff I picked up from mum being a pharmacist. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. You just, you just know things. So there was a period, I think, in 2012 where I went to India and I was continuing to do some work experience in a hospital. And I think one evening I was polishing my shoes and perhaps it was hand washing, isn't it? Perhaps I didn't wash my hands as thoroughly as I should have. Then I got diarrhea and vomiting, right? Mm -hmm. It just would not stop. And uh, so my nanny's like, okay, drink this thing. And I was like, okay, what is it? So it's basically just a cup of tea. Mm -hmm. And in there you have like a couple of drops or like maybe like a little teaspoon of paraffin oil. Okay, so paraffin oil is kind of like one of the main ingredients of baby oil, but this is like medicinal version of it. Yeah, okay? it's mainly used in babies. I actually didn't know this. I had to look this up, and um, I was like, okay, fine, happy to try it because I tried like medical anti-emetics things to stop you being sick, and I just vomited them straight back out. So without having an intravenous drip, 
it got to the point where they were like, do you, you want to go to hospital? I was like, I'm not going to Indian hospital. You know, like yeah, because you're going to die. Time. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to die today. Yeah, 100%. And, um, yeah, so she gave me this thing and like vomiting stops, diarrhea stops. And I was like, what is this? What is this magic, right? Mm. So I get home and I'm like, mom, get the powder oil. <laughs> so uh, you now people say in wrestling, Devon, get, get the tables, tables, tables. mom, yeah, yeah. get the yeah. paraffin oil. <laughs> it was like that. I, I drank my mom's come coming home. I was like, make the kitchery, please. So we talked about that. Kitchery is rice and dal, by the way. You asked me what it oh, is. Oh, there we go. Okay, okay. So it looks it looks a bit like porridge essentially. You had that with the day. I could only manage like three, four spoonfuls. Mom's like, don't force yourself. It's fine. Have this tea, paraffin oil in. Got upstairs. <laughs> mom then like medicated. She's like, right, have this cocoa mole. I was like, mm-hmm. that's like going to make me really drowsy. She's like, yeah, you be drowsy and you're going to sleep. Yeah, right? you're going to sleep, right. son. You ain't and getting gonna, no work done. It's done. Right? And she, yeah, she goes, turn your phone off, turn, turn your shit off. And, um, and it'll constipate you. So if you've got diarrhea. It does. Cocoa mold well. is the opposite. It does right? constipate you. That's why I won't take uh, it. Yeah, yeah. So I took one tablet. And then mom, uh, mom puts some Vicks on. Uh, hot water bottle, like, you know, the works. What's your relationship with hot water bottles? Like it, don't like it. I never use them. I'm always warm. I never use them. You're warm anyway. Yeah. I had a lot of layers on this point. I don't know why. I think I felt cold. I think I had the chills. Mm. But hot water bottle, I always feel like it's... I almost like it being near me to make heat, but when it's done direct contact to the body, I, it's like... No, no, it's too much, man. Too much. Too much, isn't it? I don't have people do it. So I had it for a little bit and then just moved on to the side. I was like, you just stay in the middle of the bed. Just, just be there and keep me warm. Um, and that was Thursday. So no more, no more sickness. Uh, and I've been sort of been fine since, but then I had like, I had a juggle on the Friday. Yeah. But on Friday, um, you were clearly okay to go to the juggle. Well, see Friday in the day, we, we were debating this, like, should I go? Cause it's really weak. Yes. The vomiting had stopped, but it's not like, Oh yeah, man, I can eat again now. Like I was still being cautious. Uh, all right. Here's the other thing. I hadn't, I hadn't, um, it's been like, you hadn't weed in a long time. I was weak. It, was to the, it was to the point where I was wearing like drops and it was burning. It's like bright yellow, Ooh. right? So in medical language, you call this oliguria, like reduced urine output. When somebody is super unwell, one of the markers for how unwell you are is how much urine you produce. And the way we measure that is we, you should aim for half a mil per kg per hour. Okay. So for a 70 kilogram man, 35 mils of urine per hour is the correct amount you should be weighing. Mm-hmm. As a marker, right? And this is obviously easy to measure when you've got somebody catheterized, you can actually measure yeah, yeah. how we rate, right? Otherwise, you get people to wee into a bottle and we measure that. That's very long. So obviously I can't do this at home, but I'm just like, you're clearly not weighing enough, obviously. I'm doing what you did, took my pulse. Pulse is at 98, resting, okay, without any exertion. When I'm standing up and things, I'm like lightheaded. And yeah, stuff. that's like, when okay, yeah, your, your body's just, like, uh, okay, this is requiring a lot. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm walking like with like bent over. So my head's yeah. at the you know, level of the heart and stuff, and I'm doing lots of squats to get the blood up and stuff. Just basic things, right? Um, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, this this is yellow, man. I need to get this not yellow. But, you know, that t- took days, man. We're, we're Monday now, and I think this morning was the first week I had where it wasn't like proper yellow. Because the problem is, in these bloody parties, you know, it's a sweat. It's sweat, sweat yeah. Low, right? So yeah. you're losing a lot more, even though you, you think, oh, I thought I was drinking a lot. Um, but yeah, the juggle almost had like a, there's two elements of juggle is like one, you're going to have to dance. There's exertion involved. That's one. Yeah. Second element is obviously there's food. Are you going to risk it with kind of no, spicy, spicier food? No, right? no, no. You should so be having plan. soup and bread. That's it. So we made a plan. We had, to, we had the kitchen before I went and then we got there. Starts came out. She was like, okay, you can just have the tiki. Don't have anything else. No chili paneer. You know, I'm sure they just have plain tiki. Like, okay. Had tiki. And the mains came, she's like, right, you're going to have dal. Rice. And then, yeah, and rice. That's it. That's all I had. Dal, dain, dice. Dal, dain, dice. Dal, dain, rice. How about I stop it in the table? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did I do it again? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, you have such a habit of doing it. It's wild. Clearly, clearly. clearly. There, you did it again. Look, yeah, see? I didn't do it. No, I got the water then. No, no, you tap the table. That's how sensitive the mics are, man. Mm. That's fine. I ain't got a problem with that. Boy. Um, yeah, so now having to exert myself to do a bit of bungalow meant by the end of the night, I was like, oh, I guess I'm back. I still peed though properly, but I was like, oh, I feel quite good. Then obviously crashed when I got back. And then Saturday was a bit of a washout as well. Um, mm. 
And then, yeah, but then uh, Sunday we had a really early start. We had to get there for the Monday wedding, which is outside, uh, what was it called? Outside London, that place that Harry Potter land is from. Watford. The studio. No, shit, it's not Watford, but it's like Watford. Anyway. It's North London, place. yeah. Yeah, yeah, fine. So we did that late night yesterday. <laughs> oh, funny thing happened, yeah. We paid for a hotel, holiday in. We're checking in uh, yesterday. Oh, we didn't drive back? Okay. No, the reception was still at 1 p.m., 1 a.m., man. Mm-hmm. As in, they had the morning ceremony, then you got changed. That's when we checked in. Then you had the evening reception. Got it. And um, we're checking in. Now, because of the second, you know, the second reception being a certain time in canopies, I'd spoken to the, like the manager a month ago, got it on file that we need early check-in, ground floor access. Like, I had all these like, mm-hmm. conditions, everything. Got there. Yeah, room's not ready. I'm like, look, I've got it here, written policy that my room is going to be ready at 12.30. It's 3 o'clock. Yeah. Right? So it's 3 or 5. And normal check-in time is three o'clock. So irrespective, the room should be ready. And they're like, okay. I said, well, you know, we'll accept any of the room, but you need to sort this out. So we just walked to the other side. Like sun side. Four people came and uh, were like trying to work this out. Clay just finds another room, right? And then they <laughs> call us back. And then she's like, so there are a total of two people in the room? I was like, yeah. What weird question to ask? There's me and Shindy standing there. There's no one near us. Yeah. yeah. Asked, like, are we hosting like some sort of weird like know, sex party or something? Like, what, what? <laughs> you know what I mean? like, like, two people in the room. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, I, thought, I thought it was a really weird question, man. We were talking about it afterwards. And we're like, this is just weird, man. Um yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was, and then today was a early start again. Go to Nottingham. Uh, this is the thing I want to talk about on the podcast. I am at the point now, at this point in the year, will turn my social calendar completely off. Mm-hmm. I want to be inaccessible, off the grid, be at home, locked away, lockdown life. No more podcast man. I, I with am, indie. No, no, no podcast is fine. I like the podcast. I charge. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank in you. person, in thinking, this this is fine. It's therapeutic. It's like journaling, mm-hmm. isn't it? Mm-hmm. Um, I just, I don't know. Do you feel like that, man? I'm just. I'm just <sighs> Bro, I've, I feel, I understand how people can get to that position of wanting to just chill at home because mm. I was talking to someone mm. at the wedding I was at yesterday and they said, this is my fifth wedding in five mm. weeks. And I said, what? Well, and she said, this week, is my man. fifth wedding in five weeks. She's like, I just want a week off. But then she's a dentist. So she has to return to work and work and make up time. So she has to make up time for the end of August and work each weekend. So she's like, I haven't got a weekend off until like mid-September. Wait, 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 I was wait, wait. like, fuck did me. Explain, okay. that, explain that last bit to me. Why did so, you make because, time? Did you take annual leave off? Uh, because on weekends, I think she's trying to make up enough money for the lost money that she's made up. I didn't ask her too much about it, but I'm assuming that she oh, wanted okay, to make okay, up some okay. money back, right? So she's like, well, I'll book myself until the end of September. Sorry, mid-September to make up for lost time. Mm. And there's probably like, she may have got people to cover her, her practice and she promised to do weekends in return, like stuff like that. So... Yeah, I get it. I can see that there's like a point where you just say, you know, I'm fucking done with weddings. Like, honestly, no matter how much, Mm. no matter how much you can do to try and make it special, you're hearing the same tunes, the same people, um, with the same moves, like the same food, different caterer. What's the variation, really? You've got a variation on the venue, maybe a different bride and groom. I mean, I hope it's a different bride and groom, right? (laughs) And, and, And you'll have like, I don't know, maybe some lights or some shit. That's pretty much it. And, and a nice venue. It gets repetitive when you're in like your fifth wedding because you're like, you know what? I don't want to dance. I just want to go home. And you're just like, but then you have to keep thinking to yeah. yourself, this is this is that person's special day, isn't it? Like, yeah, I've got to yeah, try yeah, and make exactly. up and do my best for it. Yeah. And that, that does annoy me sometimes when you attend events sometimes and you clearly, it's clear that some people just haven't made an effort. Mm. Um, and I'm not talking about people who have kids and, you know, they have other priorities and they're doing the best they can. And, you know, that's, I look at that and, you know, some of our friends have kids as well. And I think about, okay, this is what it's going to be like. Like we need to think about accessibility. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Like leaving early and all that kind of stuff. Like, fine, that's fine. But there are some people just, I don't know, man, just don't make an effort. Um, but again, I digress. Yeah. Not so, not just weddings, man. Like I think, you know, I've had a uh, brother in stag, these cricket matches, just, I just had ugh, so much time. I said, Shindy, I was like, just, even weekday evenings, I was like, I don't need more coaching calls. I don't want to see any more babies. I don't want to see any I more just, babies. Wow. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's just an example. I just want, uh, <laughs> I want to cuddle on the couch, man. That's all I want to do. I want to, I want to sit oh, in our that's room. Cute. That's cute. And watch a show, right? And just sleep on a decent time. 
It's not a lot to ask for, man. Um, yeah, I get that. By the way, yeah, your signal has just gone completely shit. Like your camera's lagging. I can hear you fine, but your camera's just lagging big time. Did I internet okay, you? Like, what the? It's completely fine. Yours is fine. No, I'm fine. I've done a speed test on mine. I think I'm fine. Okay. Can you still see me? Yeah, I can see you, but it's moving like out of sync time time. Okay. I'm just about to do a speed test as well. Speed test. Uh, no. Come on, Mr. Okla. That's never a good sign. Mm. On your last legs, are we? Yeah, which is slightly concerning because we're hard wiring. So that's a it's a proper supply. Oh, here we go. One second. Yeah, it's definitely me. Living in the sticks. Yeah, um, it's coming. Out. Okay, no, wait, no, no, it's, it's fixing itself. Is it getting better? Can you see it? Yeah, it's back up to like normal now. Oh, yeah, it's fine now. It started really slowly. It's not full. It's at 28.5. should be 45. Still How's lagging. You're lagging. lagging. I can hear you fine. It's just your camera's like mm. doing this. Ah. Meh. That's what you're doing. It's really interesting. Because to me, very I can see what you're doing there as well. That's very interesting, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Um, you so you want to carry on? or like, what's this, Yeah, yeah, we can carry on. It's fine. I'm not, I'm not first. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so you, you just want time to yourself to chill. I get it. I get yeah, it. I, I mean, until Chris, Christmas now, yeah. man. I just, do you know what I mean? Christmas, just, fucking hell. No, no, look, most, most of it, not most of the years gone, but haven't like, you got a very gone. close family wedding coming up, Karen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Post that, I mean, like, yeah, so yeah, brother, yeah. brother, brother in law's wedding, two weeks after that, just want to just, just want to not make programs with people, want to be a little bit antisocial. You want to be a little bit antisocial. No, it's Yeah. Mm, I get it, man. I get it. I mean, yeah, mm. weddings can be a lot, yeah, or, or, especially the suck out weekends. If I'm going to be with people, like we're going to meet up next weekend, like chill, complete chill. Like I've got the one, two things to do. After that, I'm happy to sit and just play cards or... Give me the cards right now. Bring out the Monopoly. Yeah. Oh, and no, let's no, settle no, old no, scores. No. no Monopoly. I'm not. Let's settle old Monopoly. scores. No, no, we need relaxed card playing. Okay. Okay. Relaxed. So you want card playing in Jenga? Yes. See that you get me, man. Right. That okay. and we, you know, you know our favorite YouTube channel. Our special, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's B, between yeah. us and not to B. say. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. That's for us to say. We're not. We're not sharing that, man. We're not B, sharing man, that. B, man. B. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, and watch. Oh, I showed somebody on the on my brother in law's tag. I showed him the uh, video to Ajamahi. You know that we'd watched. Oh, it's brilliant. And I was, I was like, where are these girls going? Where's the guy Sensational. Going? Where are they They're going? Just, He's just following Where are they me. going? <laughs> and then at the end, she just, then, then she's sad. She's like, you're running away from the whole video. Mm. And then at the end, you're looking for him. I was like, I just don't understand this video. So yeah, I shared that on. And um, see, it's all misleading signals, Karen. Hmm? All misleading signals, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Absolutely, man. Well, anyway, that's pretty mm. decent. I'm happy you're better, to say the least. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Because you did have me worried. I, I checked on you the next day. I don't know if you remember this. I messaged oh, your wife. I oh, said, I said, how's going? Noises. And she just just Recording nudged me. you, and you 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 weren't uh, even making noises. You were like, uh, uh, I yeah, was like, yeah, yeah he's finished. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That that sounded like a like bad a... mo. You sounded like a a fucking Vespa scooter. Uh, yeah, trying to start genuinely yeah. that. It wasn't good. That's the oh, sleep is gonna fix everything, and then you wake up and you're like, I'm okay. I'm not okay. No, I'm not okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, no, I'm grateful. I'm really, really grateful to uh, be back. When it when it does knock you for six, it does. You know the, that whole cliche it does make you reevaluate everything, and you look a little bit things. And you think, what do I actually need to do today, man? Do I need to slow down a little bit? Look, I'm a cretin for overworking and yes doing you are things like yes no know, know this know this without doubt one thing i have done successfully i'm happy to say and share with everyone on the podcast is in the last two three um sort of trips we've had to go away uh the wedding included or the part of the, not the podcast the stag or anything else i don't take my laptop now that's a big thing for me um just access welcome to, to being a normal human being yeah 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 that yeah and uh, i almost sort of when i come back then it's like oh okay now I can be on my laptop. It's okay. Like it's, it's just a very natural thing. Um, so yeah. Then it's go time. See? It's go time. Yeah. 
sorted. I mean, I do I have a topic? Uh, we'll probably talk about it next week. It's okay. Okay. It's okay. I did go to the UFC in the weekend, but uh, whoa, yeah, man. Oh, I think you was there. I think you know who. Other indie indie hotty. So I think I saw him, but he was with people, and I was in a rush, so I couldn't okay. stop and have a conversation. But I think I, I saw, saw him. the story. Yeah, his story. Yeah, was I think I saw him. So I was like, okay, TK. But where were you guys? We weren't. So basically, I got lucky. I got a call off Bal's mate. Um, no, sorry, Bal called me saying my mate's got a spare ticket. Do you want it? Mm. And I was like, yeah. And I said, why don't you want it? He said, I just bought a new phone. I said, oh, okay, fine. So you got too much, too much, too much culture expense for cheap for a month. He said, yeah. I said, safe. So I bought it, um, went with him and I was happy, man. I was like, this is amazing atmosphere. It was really great. Only thing I've got to say is um, Mm. being around that kind of audience Mm. brought me back to to feeling like I was at school again. So when you go to the toilets at school, Disgusting, mm. filthy, cigarette smoke, cigarette fags in the sink, mm. um, toilet paper everywhere in the toilets. It was like that when you went to the toilets there, like mm. extremely filthy. And it just mm. made me think like I'm genuinely feeling like I'm at school again. Not pleasant, not pleasant. Not pleasant. <laughs> but I was like, mm. cool. Uh, and some people, because obviously it's quite a male dominated event, they were jumping mm. into the women's toilets because they couldn't be bothered to hold it in. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. And I was like, oh, yeah, I can see why. Uh, no security to enforce it. And the funny thing is, there was a security guard who came in saying, uh, guys, can you can you try and stop smoking, please? Right? He really <laughs> tried diplomatically to be nice about it. And they're like, oh, fuck off, etc." They're like, okay, sir. And I was like, oh, God, I genuinely feel like I'm in school. Like, like, and he's like school, talking yeah. about it while I'm taking a piss. Not pleasant. What Not pleasant. What was the uh, venue? Uh, the O2 Arena. Okay. So yeah, the O2. Pop, 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 so, yeah, yeah, yeah. I went to... Um, Fights were good, really good, great atmosphere. Definitely mm. one off the bucket list that I've ticked off now because I'm glad I went. Mm. Um, and a part of me thought, it just made me think the UFC and the build-up it has is probably a, probably a lot better than boxing build-ups because mm. I watched the pre-fights and I was genuinely absorbed by them and I actually enjoyed them and I saw a lot of skill and talent and technique. Mm. And you can see like a future star there potentially. Um, even the guy who sold the show, he wasn't on the main event of the co-main event. He was on the event beneath and oh, he was, okay. he was Paddy the Baddy, right? The guy from Liverpool. And he oh, had yeah. the venue in the palm of his hand the whole night. Yeah, 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 he yeah, was yeah. on it. Everyone loved him and everyone was there for him. Surprisingly, not the guy in the main event, not for, well, maybe for Darren Hill, but he didn't fight. But mm. yeah, it was just, it was really good to like, just see that. And I was like, this kid's going to go somewhere. Like I can see mm. it. He's definitely mm. going somewhere. And I was like, I can say, I went to see him live, yeah. right? And that was a that was a wicked moment. So I'd love to go to one in Vegas or something in the future. That would be a bucket Big. list thing for sure. Mm. Next thing. But yeah, man, definitely would recommend to anyone who wants to go. Always worth the atmosphere. Soak mm. it all in. Oh, another thing. People on higher balconies throwing mm. drinks at others down. Ooh, yeah. Cool. So when there's that's a win, cool. when someone wins, they just like start tossing pints like in the crowd. Uh, I didn't get hit, but I saw people get drenched. I was like, not cool. That's not cool, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. People just get overexcited. Asking for fights, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but then but then how do you fight someone who's all the way up there? Yeah, like, you can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw a couple of riots actually. Now you mentioned that. Mm. Two riots broke out directly opposite me in the other stand. And they were in the stand behind the VIP seats, you know, like the inner circle seats that are around the Oxcom where all the important people sit. Mm. There were fights breaking out there. And there was a fight between someone in the VIP area as well. It was really mm. interesting. Alcohol plays a hell of a part in this. And again, security can't do shit because there's so many of them grouped together mm. in like a little stand and they get that mob mentality. They can't do anything. They can't move them out or anything. Kind of it's, it. yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. yeah. So you can, you can feel how things can turn very left very quickly in events like that. Mm. There you go, man. Worth going to. Might take you one day. You never know if you want to go. Yeah, yeah. always time to watch fight. Yes, uh, that's it. That's all I got for this week. Are you happy? Mm, happy. Kosh, everything cool. Kush. All right. Well, everyone, give Doctor your best wishes. Let us know your remedies uh, for getting ill beneath. That'd be really great. And we'll catch you next week. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. Goodbye. <laughs>